Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. Ryan, what do we got going on today? All right guys, so today we are back doing a viewer request. This one is requested by Homicidal Kitten. Oh, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> okay so, <laughs> Homicidal Kitten, guys. And this is for Jeremy Hawks, and it's called Canada and USA. So, great recommendation. Many of you guys know we are Canadian. Oh, hey, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I got a little bit of US in me too. Dual citizenship here, but yeah. both both born and raised in Canada, as yeah. far as we know. As far as we know. <laughs> both born and raised in Canada, guys. So we like doing some like you know Canadian reacts to like different comedians, diff all kinds of different stuff. So today it's Jeremy Hawks. Uh, Canada versus USA, requested by uh, Mr. and Mrs. Homicidal Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, before we start the show today, please subscribe to the channel, Two Neighbors. It really does help us. And speaking of Canada, OKSwag.com is our sponsor. Get some cool Canadian swag like this and the stuff you see down below. Uh, when you punch in Two Neighbors in the coupon code at checkout, you'll receive 20% off your order, plus free shipping and pay no tax on that order. So get yourself some sweet Canadian swag. Brian? Yeah. What should we do next? Let's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Oh, I'm gonna start drinking this weed drink since we're doing a Canadian video. Now we coexist together because we're all Canadian. We're part of Canada and we're bonding together against the common enemy, the United States. <laughs> What a horrible country. <laughs> I live there now. They're the most un-Canadian people you will ever meet in your life. They look like us. That's the end of it right there. <laughs> They're not like us at all. They're morons. All across the streets. They're even crazier. I was in Texas. Oh, there's some yahoos in Texas. Yahoos. <laughs> That's where the term comes from. I don't even think the French have a word for yahoos. Interesting guy. I got off the bus, a guy with a big cowboy hat comes walking up to me. Horse, nowhere in sight. <laughs> Just looks at me, y'all from out of town? Oh yeah, all of us. <laughs> Standing alone, Buford, who are you looking at? <laughs> you can't call an American on anything, because they're violent. They'll get mad at you. They'll tell you right to your face, screw you! Canadians don't do that. That's why the rest of the world loves us. We know how to hate strategically. <laughs> Somebody bumps into us, we don't yell, screw you! We go, oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. And then as we're walking away, we think, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> so true, yeah. so true. <laughs> yeah, it's a multicultural world, isn't it? But we're doing our best, aren't we? We're hanging in there, we're cool, man, we're all right. We're Canadian shit. Look at us. We're not like the Americans. They're nuts. They're the closest thing to us and they're crazy. <laughs> the hell is their problem? <laughs> they don't even have a prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> they made up their own thing. President. We, we don't have a president. We don't. We have a prime minister. It's much less hostile, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds like a cut of meat. <laughs> oh, the you ordering the minister? No, I'm having the prime minister. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah. Just don't let America overwhelm us with their bullshit. That's all I'm saying. I mean, they're different than us, but they're the same, and they fool us. They trick us, man. Look, they try to do the same things we do. We both celebrate Thanksgiving. They do it on a different day. Why? Because they're assholes. <laughs> what do we do on Thanksgiving? Nothing in particular. Sit with family, right? Eat? That's it? Nothing else? No. What do they do? They celebrate the pilgrims. Why? Why celebrate those morons? 
You ever look at them? They had belts on their hats. <laughs> I would have loved to have been at that meeting just to see how it came up. <laughs> Our hats keep blowing off in the wind. <laughs> Let's put belts on them. <laughs> Good thinking, Jacob. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, our shoes keep falling off. <laughs> Buckles, you <said. laughs> Canada and America, we live right next to each other and we kind of get along. Or they think we get along with them, but we really don't. We're vitally afraid of them, aren't we? <laughs> because they have guns. And we reason. <laughs> the guy who reasons with the crazy guy <laughs> fucking loses. <laughs> That's the problem. We gotta pretend we're tough. That's the thing, but we're bad at it, aren't we? Because we don't want to do anything. You know what Canadians want? We just want to wake up in the morning and stand there. Because if we move, we might cause some trouble. The best thing is just don't fucking move. Stand there. Let the world move around us. And then when nobody's looking, sneak away. That's us. We're the great Canadians. We're fantastic. We've taken over the job of the Swiss. But even the Swiss were violent. Look at the pocket knife. <laughs> you could kill a guy with those things. And the pocket knife, they had the corkscrew. We never perfected the pocket knife. There's no such thing as a Canadian knife. Canada is known for donuts. Tim Horton donuts. That's us. Don't screw with us. We'll peg tin bits at you. Because we care about ourselves, don't we? You're just a kid, so it's new to you, right? How old are you? 24. You're just a baby. Look at you. The world hasn't even enveloped you yet. <laughs> Shit, you're lucky. You got a good job? It's okay. <laughs> Typical Canadian answer. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Why does this static me look like he's like shitting himself? Show anybody else up. What do you do? Uh, landscaper. You're a landscaper? Wow, like a gardener. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the fancy word for it. <laughs> what an asshole. You're a gardener. With great outdoors. You live in what is he doing with his gardener. eye? You work three months out of the year. <laughs> That's what he always does. And I've seen a couple really? other things. Yeah, I didn't recognize the name, but I've seen that guy before. Um, he always does that. Like, he does the thing where he talks into his hand and his eye. Like, I, I think guess it's part of his thing. act. Yeah, it's his thing. <laughs> Maybe it's not a part of his act, and that's how he really is. Like, you <laughs> Hey, buddy. What's up? Um, now, there's some good things that he was saying there. Yeah, yeah, definitely some funny stuff. Uh, yeah, that Jeremy Hunt. I didn't recognize any. I've seen I've seen him before. Um, yeah, so Canada versus US. <laughs> USA, USA. Let's just get one thing straight. We do love you, but we do sometimes get concerned for our neighbor. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know, just here and there. But you know, overall, we love you. So, yeah, uh, yeah Canada's and US relationship is uh, is a mighty strong one. Don't we have like the most like the longest border on? Longest unprotected border in the entire world. That's so what I was trying it's to like say. A, it's like a brother's relationship, although, you know, I think some some Americans might view it as a father-son relationship. We prefer to look at it as like a brother's relationship. <laughs> and our concern for the U.S. would be the same concern if, like, you know, if your older brother came home, you know, and showed you that he had, you know, 400,000 guns. <laughs> and be like, hey, I know, I'm just kidding. That's a very dramatic underestimation of how many guns <laughs> there actually are, but uh, we love the States, guys. Uh, we have a lot of guns yeah. in Canada. We just, you know, make sure we know who has them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's something that we should laugh. We should laugh at that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, besides that, let's get back to uh, what we we're talking about. Uh, yeah, Canada and U.S. relationship, we love you. Yeah. Um, Ryan, I think we need to... Uh, Tried this guy again. I felt like I liked him. I wasn't like, 
You're thrown off by his I mannerisms. I was thrown off yeah, by his mannerisms. I, I felt like it was just a little bit too played up, or I'm more curious if it's actually that's how he is. But, I don't know, that was kind of weird. And calling out that guy, like, I mean, that was funny. But, like, that was, like, just such a... That was a cheap joke. Yeah. I feel like I've heard that joke before. Yeah. You know, I, I think, like, you always, any, any job, you try and belittle it and give it a weaker name. Yeah. Huh. I, I don't know. I think, like, honestly, if you're in the first five rows, like, you're, you're, you're up for grabs. Open. Yeah, you're up. What do you it, guys think? Game. Do you think if you go in the first five rows, you're 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 for game uh, to, to the comedian? <laughs> um, I would like to get roasted by Russell Peters. Yeah, that'd be fun. I, Bill Burr would have to be a good oh, one. Yeah. Oh, if you're yeah. going to get roasted by someone, like, you know, to have him, like, literally lock into hey, you and be like, yeah. Look at this guy! Yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh, <laughs> on the to-do list. <laughs> I hope that we can go see some like comedy shows like in yeah. person. Like we I should, love we to. should film and like post us like heckling Bill Burr. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Bill, you never responded we'll to any of our comments. <laughs> uh, guys, if you have anything to suggest for us, what were you gonna say? Uh, two Canadian idiots arrested at the <laughs> Bill Burr show. <laughs> well, at least he'd make us uh, probably a bit about us. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if you have a suggestion for us, please put it down below in the comment section. Section Hashtag it, my request, with the URL link so that we can do your video. Uh, please, only send us the good stuff. And guys, don't forget to check out okanaswag.com. Punch in two neighbors in the coupon code at check it, and you'll receive 20% off, plus free shipping, and pay no tax on some sweet Canadian swag like this. Ryan? Yes, sir. What else should these lovely people do? I'd like to borrow one second of your time, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications so you get notified when we post videos, post new content every single day. Or at least we try to. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for joining us. Later, guys.